In this video, we're going to be customizing, reviewing, as well as take out the new Bernard Lacaroche, or I don't know how to say it, on the racetrack. So welcome back to TM and WCO. And now that we are at the auto shop, let's get on ahead with the customization. But first things first, let's get all the performance upgrades first. <music> And now onto the cosmetics and for the front bumpers we're going to go with the plastic GT bumper. For rear bumpers we're going to go with the plastic stock bumper. And then for the hoods we're going to go with the primary GT hood. For mirrors we're going to go with the carbon street mirrors. And then for the roll cages we're going to go with the padded cage with sport seats. For roofs we're going to go with the secondary GT roof scoop. And for the skirts we're going to go with the primary GT plated skirt. For respray, we're going to go with a candy red. And then moving on to the spoilers, we're going to go with the secondary GT wing. And for the trunk, we're going to go with the plastic secondary with louver. For wheels, we're going to go with the conical turbo fan. We're gonna get black wheels. And of course, we're going to get bulletproof tires. And with that, we are done with the customization of the Panat. And I guess I'll see you guys outside. The Panat does have a startup sound, but yeah, this is how it looks, guys. And now on to the review of the Panot and starting off with the acceleration as always. And well guys, the Panot has good low end punch. It has even better mid end punch, but then it lags at the top end. But nonetheless, I'd say that it is enough for free roam and more than enough for racing. Enough to leave the petrol cars behind after taking a corner or while launching the car. So the acceleration, I'd give it good. And now on to the top speed and well it's an electric car guys so you already know what to expect so don't really expect something like 125 or 130 miles per hour well this car has 115 to 116 miles per hour top speed so not bad if i do say so myself for an electric vehicle but yes it could have been a lot better but nonetheless i am not going to complain too much because this car is actually secretly very very good and now on to the handling and honestly guys i cannot stress too much on the handling the handling of the panod is actually really really good it has zero oversteer and honestly a tiny amount of understeer which you won't even notice most of the time which translates into it being a very good car for racing or for driving around or maybe even for people who are not that great at driving in gta online Oh, and one more thing, the Panod, trust me guys when I say this, but yeah, do try it out at the racetrack or racing it with other cars. You will be surprised at how good it actually is. It honestly left me speechless because at first I was not really looking forward to this car. I thought it was actually trash. But after trying it and racing it against other people, my goodness guys, it is just phenomenal. All thanks to the handling which has unlimited grip. So if you want to take corners at top speed, go for it. And if you want to use full power while exiting a corner, go for it. And at the same time, it is super small and it has a lot of downforce. This car is amazing, guys. So yeah, if you are looking for a car to race with, this car is pretty good. Anyways, enough of me praising the Benaud. Now let's get on to the track test. And well, guys, here is just a random suspension test to see how well the Panot handles the bumps. And well, guys, it is phenomenal. And now on to the conclusion and as well as the tractors, guys. And what can I say about the Panod? Well, the Panod is a very futuristic looking electric car. And yeah, it actually looks pretty good if I do say so myself. I really love the design of it. And what's even better is I love how this car handles. It just grips and grips and grips no matter what you do because it is just phenomenal. So the Panod, honestly, I think I would recommend this to anyone because of how easy it is to drive and at the same time of how good it is. When just roaming around with it, you might feel, oh, it's not really that great. But when you actually take it to the racetrack and race it against other players, yeah, that's where you'll find out like, oh, wow, this car is actually really good. And that's what I love about the Panod. It doesn't look like it, but damn, 
it is amazing. So yeah, if you are a beginner or at the same time, even if you are a professional, I'd say that the Panod is a good pick for you. Anyways, moving on to the track test and well guys, after a few multiple attempts, I have gotten a best time of 3 minutes on the dot for the Panod. And that is honestly amazing for a sports car. Beating even the Omnis EGT and even a supercar like the Taipan. So yeah, that just shows you guys how good the Panod is. At racing, of course. Anyways, moving on to the drag race. What we do here is basically we race in a straight line until we finish the race. And after a few multiple attempts, I have gotten a best time of 31.6 seconds, which is honestly pretty good for a sports car. So there you have it, guys. The Panor La Carouche or La Carousse. I don't know how to say it guys so forgive me but anyways guys there you have it the Panod I'll just call it the Panod the Panod a very good car for racing a decent car for free roam and a very friendly car for let's say an average player or even a beginner in GTA online I would highly suggest you guys to pick one up if you are looking for a fun car to drive which is also very good when it comes to the handling Anyways guys, I guess that is about it when it comes to this video. So the Panod, honestly a great car. I would recommend it to anyone and plus it is only 1.9 or you can just say 2 million dollars. Of course not cheap but for what you're getting, I'd say that it is worth the money. So yeah, with that, I hope you liked the video guys. Leave a like, leave a comment down in the comment section and of course do subscribe to the channel and yes, do turn on the bell notifications so that you'll be notified every time I drop a new video. And guys, with that, TM and WCOP signing out. Yeah!